Hi there. Sorry for the extreme close up here. I just thought I'd do a quick demo. Um, I thought about doing like a live demo, but I think I will do a recording and do a little editing, but put it out there hopefully. And I wanted to do this to show an example of kind of blocking in with big shapes um, for busy subjects, especially uh, right before we were going to go to France to paint. So I thought I'd do this little city scene and uh, well, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, grab a little bit of color on my brush and kind of block in these big shapes. So what I'm thinking first and foremost is squinting down and seeing just how these shapes kind of all connect to each other. Uh, the light shape here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to squint. First I'm going to give myself a little road map to, uh, you know, with to lock in sort of the composition. Um, now I'm trying to imagine myself on the streets in Provence somewhere. And, um, but I'm going to do this really fast and very much blocky uh, because I don't want to spend a ton of time. And I just want to get a quick sample. Um, so that's, that's kind of my roadmap there. You know, I can... I'll think about people in there. I don't know. And then this is all just, you know, kind of clutter and big shapes of things. Actually, so there's a couple umbrellas. But to save myself a lot of grief and trying to, you know, worry about every little, you know, door frame and the direction they're going and the, uh, you know, everything for the cups and the plates and the napkins, all of that you don't look at first squint down and all of that becomes a nice blur and that's all you need at first because especially when you're outdoor painting the sun is moving quite rapidly um, and the light and shadow is going to change so and that alone is enough to you know throw you off but then of course you're going to have like inevitably it never fails somebody comes in with a truck and parks in front of your scene or you know passers-by interrupt you or get in your way and so I'm just gonna do this quick a little block in and I'm picking up different colors a little bit each time to make it you know have a little variety from the very beginning and uh, now with the photographs what this is doing for us too is you know definitely darkening things a bit more, you know, it, uh, or inversely, the light colors get really blurred out. Um, so, I'm, you know, on site, this maybe I won't go quite as dark. Uh, you know, maybe I do want to introduce some light into my shadow. You can do that. Uh, we're going to have, you know, more... Just some variety. Uh, it doesn't have to be dark, dark, dark. Um, let's see. So that's a bit. Of, that's a prettier floor. I can get in there. Try. So, and if I'm starting with this nice and loose color kind of lock in, let's see. That wasn't quite in the right spot. Even the chairs, like, can become, you know, just hints. And I don't have to draw in and, and worry about every little detail of those things. Okay, and then I've got some more darks. I guess there's sort of a person there. And I'm just kind of guessing and placing some of these things here. Now across the street, that's a different shape of color. Uh, over here, you know, there's a few buildings and there in the distance, especially the one in the background. So that's, this is definitely becoming, I think, part of my light. And what I've got is kind of an interesting, almost hourglass shape here of light. Um, and across the street here is a kind of a building that's 
middle values. So I'm going to fill that in. Oopsie, too, uh, too uh, excitable here. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to take this king's blue and really blue that part. A bit of stuff still on my brush there. I'm going so quickly, I'm not cleaning things in between. All right, now it's picked up yellow. So that's all right. All of that, so I'm not going to erase that or correct it or change it either because that gives me, a, you know, kind of some interesting variety in there. All right, then down in the middle in this sort of nondescript, you know, it's full of all kinds of things. So I'm just going to basically do that. Pick up a few different color things uh, in the middle value. There's actually even sort of some green in there. Now this is, I'm like I said, I'm really rushing this just because I want to get it done. <laughs> but, you know, you almost have to go this quickly, say, in, in life, just to knock in that foundation. So that's what I'm doing. So say I'm, you know, this will be, say, my first half hour of work um, on site is quickly, you know, getting this, the colors kind of correct. I'm trying to match what I'm seeing. Um, that's actually got a bit more greens in it. I could go. I'm keeping it thinned so that also it can be, um, you know, it'll dry quicker as I build up more layers. And it can be wiped back easily. There's kind of a, a between there as well as a bit of a building that's getting light. Uh, yeah, so I, could have, I should have gone up higher here with my dark, I'm seeing. There we go. And I do want some kind of, I think, a dark, dark out in there. Yeah, I kind of lost some of that, so I'm going to kind of work that piece back in there. There we go. And then there's that there. All right. So I'm just making notes, essentially, to myself for, you know, later perusal. There's even a bit of this, there's like a sign placard in here. I'm going to go ahead and just put in a little reminder to myself. That's that shape. Okay, now there's kind of an unexplained thing. Dark. I think it's a probably a flag or another awning. Uh, I'm not going to put in, you know, I think this was in Little Italy. So right there, there's, uh, you know, there's all these things across the street. We're not going to hit that. Okay, so there's that. Let's get, well, there's a little piece of shadow pump, pumped out there into my light. And there's shadow kind of for under there. And there's light coming into this dark here as well. So that's a good example of where I can take a, a bit of my paper towel and wipe some of that back off. And that's uh, one of the reasons I like working on light boards. Um, white surface because I can do this and I can wipe back to a really clean spot but I'm still squinting I'm still trying to just see these real light colors um, there's just the little bit there I kind of really fudged the uh, tablecloths there there maybe that is a little better okay now I just need to get working my way up again in the values. I'll get this awning in here. Yeah, and I don't have the greatest shapes happening here yet. But that's I kind of like because 
you know, I don't want to get caught up in edges and details and things like that and trying to define every little thing. And, I, you know, you can't do that on site. It's just there's too much going to change on you. Um, now, I could certainly when you're on site, you could pick a much smaller area to cover, um, you know, a little less details. We could we could focus in on a pretty little corner in the cafe, say. Okay, so I've got this big awning there, all in the light. But what I'm doing here too is keeping this these values separate, um, the lights and the shadow shapes. And that's gonna work in my favor too, because once I kind of lock in some of these things, then I can, you know, I have the idea there. I've got that, you know, what struck my fancy and it's committed. Um, and I can then begin to put in some details and think about how I want to, you know, how much I want to record, say, of that scene. Uh, and the more you, the more you look, the more you see too. But I don't, I don't want to still capture too much. So I'm just kind of filling in some gaps here to make my point. Actually, this building is quite a bit higher. So yeah, may as well. I'll leave even more behind further. So this is, like I said, I think Little Italy and the Big Apple. And I can use that color to try to drop in a couple of ideas for windows. Um, now the rest of this really is kind of just sidewalk stuff. And again, I don't, I can't see everything. Uh, there's things in the way. Do I want to put the guy in there? I don't know. Um, let's put the woman in. I like her, like her position and her little walk and I just can do that with a couple strokes so she's about about right in here uh, so again she's just one big shape too I'm not going to try to draw her head separate from her body separate from her legs to start it's just a matter of making notes and getting those biggest shapes first. So she's kind of there already. Yeah, maybe there's, I don't know, should I put the, the person in here? I want to, I want, if I put them in here, I want them to remain really kind of in that shadow and well hidden. That would be kind of a fun extra, you know, if people pause to look at the painting long enough, they'll discover more and more in there. And that's what I want to do is, you know, have something look simplistic um, in the beginning and not overworked. Okay, so there's that little sign. And I'm just, like I said, get the values as close and correct as you can. And you can get the color, you know, if you're wanting to paint reality um, and capture the scene, uh, which is kind of why people are out doing plein air work, right? Um, so in this case, I'm trying to replicate the colors I'm seeing out there. Uh, now I could completely change it up and decide, well, I'm just going to mass all of this in and purples and blues and then I'll put like all the fun maybe get into details and put fun stuff in the light or vice versa burn out all the lights and with you know one color and one thing one big shape you know really reduce it and abstract things there's kind of a big sign here I could I guess I'll give myself that I think that's kind of fun. That fills that area too and gives a sense of scale and location. And again, when you're painting on site, you're, you know, you want to capture these kind of 
things that, you know, kind of tell people where you are and what you were seeing and getting that slice of life. All right, so I'm going to just fill in. Oops, that is too light. That's that's still my shadow shapes in there, so I want to need to get that a little greenery behind. That gets real dark under there. And I'm not worrying about edges either, uh, which is something I've spent a lot of time doing in my painting life and trying very hard to, you know, not worry if things overlap or hit each other and you know those things you can correct later if you want or they just become part of the you know the journey and the artist's hand um, you know and I think people like to see that journey and be able to see the uh, the decisions the artist makes you know and here I'm I, I, you know there's all kinds of things I can get into details with here and I Actually, in a scene like this, it's most of my fun details and info are in the light, or and I'm sorry, in the shadows. The lights are very quiet. There's not a lot happening in there. They're, you know, I want them to kind of recede. And then in the foreground, I'll, I'll decorate the tables a little bit, and I'll, I'll put in the signs and lampposts and bulbs here that are fun to play with. Um, but for right now, again, just, just do the biggest shapes. Okay, so there's, there's kind of a really bright lighted thing coming, almost comes all the way across to that. There's a light blue piece, you know, that kind of helps define that edge. And then, you know, I've got to fix some of this to get my awnings. Okay, so really I'm pretty darn close to being able to call this a start. You know, my sky is pretty burnt out and light. So I'm just going to fill it in with some the real light. And I don't have to put a lot of change into that. It's such a small little section here occupying very little. Now, the, the sidewalk area, this is... I think the last point I might make at this point right now uh, for this little quickie demo. Now, you know, we know sidewalks are kind of, they're pavement colored. They're kind of gray. You know, that's just the local color, say, or the object's color. But I want to depict the light, you know, that is happening and falling on this. So that's where you know, we get to make a few little decisions. Am I going to paint it gray? And there's a side, a section in there of some brick. Um, or am I going to paint the light? That is, the you know, the sunlight falling on this pavement here. And that's what I want to paint. So I'm not going to paint it that dull gray color. I'm going to put in light. And that's going to be fun over here to play with. I can just squint down enough. I can kind of even hint at some of this chair divisions of and then just by painting around these big shapes, you know, you kind of Painting work is done for you. Okay, so I would now at this point is where, you know, the fun begins. I can 
slow down. I've locked in this image, this little scene. Now people can walk through it and the car or truck can pull up in front and that's okay because I can just continue to look at the near ground and um, you know, put in any detail or things I want there. You know, there's kind of some light tables back here, but they're not in the light. They're white tablecloths, but they're not in the light. So I want them to still be part of the shadow. Actually, I can come to it. There we go. You know, just these little kinds of things eventually once adding a little shape. So in the beginning, just squint down and focus on whatever the largest sort of shapes you can. You know, in this case, when I squint, actually, this even, I might, I have that too light, I think. I could go darker on that section of awning. And this could glow. So all of this, though, is really connected. And then same over here. It's, you know, if I squint real hard, this gets quite a bit darker, but I want it to recede a bit and, uh, you know, have some atmosphere, which we know will kind of blue things out in that, you know, the further away you go, um, a little bit duller, a little lighter colors will become. So... And then, oh, I did want to, okay, I'll darken this a bit more. There we go. And then there are some spots there that are kind of have an interesting glow. So I'll just let's maybe catch any spirits. I'm going to grab a little bat, and then I'm going to... So I'm going to wipe that back because there's another little trick. Now the canvas that it was white when I started is just got a stain of that yellow in there now. And uh, that's going to help me really get the look of the glow there. And in that case, I didn't even mix any spirits into that. I just... Just grabbed it off with the towel. So that's kind of the the initial block in stage. And I think I will kind of stop there, although it's hard to do, isn't it? Okay. And then when I start to see, of course, with a photograph, I can spend the time and I see all these fun things like reflecting light and color coming on to this tablecloth. I guess it's probably like a little plastic one, so it's picking up some light reflections. Anyway, so that's where it gets fun. It's fun to start quick and lock in these big things all at once, and then it's fun to slow down and get to really play and, and think about what you want to say in your painting. So from this point, it gets a little slower. Um, you know, that's where I just get to play and put in little hints of information and details and really bump the color up and down. And so that gets a little boring though to watch. So I don't know if I'll record that section of that, but I will share with you the finished painting. And hopefully this will help any students planning on going out and painting in the city um, uh, or on plein air anywhere. Just squint down, think big shapes, group-like objects, um, fill those in with the correct values, uh, the correct color, if that's what you're looking for, um, you know, for an honest or an accurate depiction of a scene, or play with color and, uh, you know, do something completely different, like something like this, where I've really kind of abstracted it here. For example, not sure about the division, of shapes and all that but you know here my grass my horse the things that were in shadow uh, because of the backlighting they were all kind of grouped together um and but there's variety in there and texture and interest so 
things like that. You could do that or do, you know, reality. More of the accurate colors that were there on site. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Um, have a great day painting yourself. Take care. Bye-bye.